video one on first order difference equations. So the first thing we'll start with is what are difference equations and afterwards we'll have a look at solving first order homogeneous difference equations. So what are they? They're a description of a numerical sequence and there are two types. First order difference equations is where the current value is only described by the previous value and second order uh, difference equations are where the current value is described using the previous two values. So an example of a first order difference equation would be something like that. And you can see that 3 when it's multiplied by 5 will give me 15, 15 by 5 gives me 75 and so on. So any term in that can be described as 5 times the previous value. So the current term is a multiple of just the previous term. So it's a first order difference equation. Now, I did mention that um, you're multiplying by 5 there. In uh, geometrical sequences, you might have come across the common ratio. But for us, that actually turns out to be a k value, which you'll see in the general solution later on. Okay, in this case, we have a Fibonacci series. And the Fibonacci series is obtained by adding the previous two terms together to get the current term. So it's a second order difference equation. In other words, to get the third term, that's the 1, you'd add 0 and 1 together. To get the fourth term, you'd have you'd have, have to add the second and the third term together. That's 1 plus 1. And then you just keep going. So if you were to try to get the, ter the 13 value there, it's the sum of the previous two. So you're adding two previous terms together, in which case you're using two previous terms. So we call it a second order difference equation. That's just a quick introduction. Now let's have a look at solving first order homogeneous difference equations. So first off, they're generally written in the form of u of n is equal to a multiple of u of n minus 1 plus c. So u of n is the term value that you're looking at. And what it says is the term value you're looking at is a multiple of the previous value. And you might have to add or subtract a number as well to make the current term happen based on the previous term. And you don't have to do a whole lot of maths here, you don't have to worry about geometric sequences or anything like that, because somebody has already worked out the solution to the difference equation. And if we know the solution, it's in that form there, all we really have to do there is find the values of a and b, because the k value in that second handwritten box is the same as the k value in the difference equation in the first handwritten box. I suppose the thing to remember here is there are two unknowns, a and b. So if there are two unknowns, you need two equations. And if there are two equations, you need two numerical values to complete the question. Typically in a question, you're given the first condition or the starting condition, like a u of 0 or u of 1. But you actually need two of those, so you need to find the second one another one using the first handwritten box there and that'll be as follows. 